In this tutorial, I will explain a position of straight lines problem which is inclined to both the reference planes. The problem is something like this. The distance between the end projectors of a line PQ is 50 mm. The point P is 29 mm above HP and 22 mm behind VP. While point Q is 40 mm below HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections and find the length and true inclination with HP and VP. So, this is an indirect problem. Here, true length of the line is not given, you have to find it, and true inclinations are also not given, you have to find it. But, position of the final front and final top is given in this problem. Okay, let us start the problem. First, draw the XY line. After that, now observe the given data. Point P is 29 mm above HP. So, point, in, point P is 29 mm above HP means the front view will lie 29 mm above the XY line. 29 mm above XY, here you will get the front view. Okay, somewhere here on this line you locate P dash. Next. 22 mm behind VP. Behind VP means the top view will come above the XY line. So, 22 mm above the XY line you draw another locus line. And from P dash you draw a projector onto this particular locus. Then here you will get P. So, P dash and P you are getting now. Next. The distance between the end projectors of line PQ is 50 mm. That means P P dash and Q Q dash distance is 50. So, from P P dash this projector you take 50 distance and here you draw a projector. So, on this projector you will get Q and Q dash. Okay. Point Q is 42 mm below HP. Point Q is 42 mm below HP means its front view lies 40 mm below the XY line. Okay. 40 mm below XY you draw a locus and this front view of Q lies here that means Q dash you will get somewhere here this is the locus of front views and the Q point is 30 mm in front of VP in front of VP means the top view will come below the XY line the distance is 30 so here join P dash Q dash after that draw a 30 mm distance line from XY something like this this is the locus of top views so here on this line you will get point Q on this line you will get point Q line joining PQ is the final top view ok now to get the true length observe the standard problem when A dash B dash and AB is known from B dash if you draw an arc like this in the reverse direction then you are going to get B3 dash this arc you have to draw onto the locus of A dash so there Q dash is there from, from Q dash if you draw an arc in the reverse direction up to the locus of P dash you are going to get Q3 dash from Q3 dash you have to draw the projector onto the locus of Q to get Q3 ok this same step we will do here now if you take P dash as center P dash Q dash as radius if you draw an arc onto the locus of P dash here you are going to get Q3 dash from Q3 dash if you draw a projector onto the locus of top views you are going to get Q3 line joining P and Q3 PQ3 is giving the true length and this is the inclination with respect to VP phi in our problem this is PQ from Q if you draw an arc in the reverse direction up to the locus of A you are going to get up to the locus of P in our problem we are going to get Q2 from Q2 if you draw a projector onto the locus of front views we are going to get Q2 dash line joining P dash and Q2 dash is giving the true length ok so now I will start from top view again you start from the top view that means PQ draw an arc take P dash as center PQ as radius draw an arc onto the locus of P this point is Q2. From Q2, if you draw a projector under the locus of front views, you are going to get Q2 dash. This is Q2 dash. Now, line joining P dash and Q2 dash is again giving the true length. So, this line length, this line length must remain same because both are representing two lengths. This inclination with respect to XY is the inclination with respect to HP. This is theta. Okay. In this way, you can solve this problem. In this problem, no need to go up to simple position, you can start the problem at this stage.